All right then. So right now, let's go ahead and let's fetch all the data that we are getting here in the JSP page. So we are getting all our food items over here set by the servlet over here. We are setting it. So just to make sure, I'm going to copy this once again and going to paste it here again. And there you go. And here, this item uh, that we are printing over here, we need to loop over everything that we are getting. So just to make sure, just want to tell you once again, this items that we are getting over here is, you know, uh, the generic type of food that we are setting over here. And this food is actually a POJO class. So if I'll go over the food class, then I can see over here, I do have three uh, three uh, properties that I do have for put class. So the ID, the item and the price. So this is what I need to pitch. Okay, so I'll go to my JSP page here and here I'm going to say items dot ID. So this is going to internally call the uh, get ID method over here. So this is the method that is going to internally call, right? So uh, the next thing that I'm going to over here uh, is I'm going to copy this particular line once again and going to paste it here and I'm going to say items dot item right so again what's what's going to happen internally this is going to call the get item method over here okay so I'm I'm just calling this property and it's going to internally call this particular method to page the data all right. And the next thing is the price. So I'm going to copy it once again and going to paste it here once again. And I am just going to resize it. And this is for the price, right? So now let's run our application and let's check out whether we're getting all our data from the database or not, right? So I'll go to my controller servlet. I'll open the project explorer. I'll go to this put cat or Java. I'll do a right click and run edge run on server so it's going to restart my server again so next and finish so let's see what's going to be happening either it's going to give me any error or we're going to get a desired output so well there are some errors so let me fix that out so what are the errors that we're getting over here mysql syntax exception so table product that put cat does not exist. So most probably I'm using a wrong syntax. So let's go to my uh, dbutil class here. And this is the problem. So I'm using a wrong database here. So my database name is put, right? So put here, let me, let me save it. And just to make sure, let me go to the database again, just to cross check. So I'll open my MySQL database and let me enter the password here. And this is the one I'm interested for is food. So I think right now we are all set because we have changed it to food. So now the next thing is let me rerun it once again. So let me go to my controller servlet here and let me do a right click and run is and run on server. And I'll do a next and finish and okay so let's see what's gonna happen this time it's gonna run finger crossed and boom and we're, we're just getting all our data right one biryani uh, 100 rupees two pizza 250.5 rupees three chili paneer uh, 120 rupees and we're getting all our data over here, isn't it? So just to cross check, if we'll go over here in our database and we'll do a select star from put cat, then all this data right now we're getting over here, isn't it? So now this application, uh, this, I mean, this UI doesn't look good, isn't it? So let's, uh, let's try to create a table here and let's try to display everything in a systematic order with a HTML table with a simple HTML table. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to create a HTML table here. I mean, with each row that we are getting over here, we need to present it 
as a single row in a HTML table. So let's see how we're going to do that. All right. So let me close this stuff and go back to my JSP page here. And here I'm going to make use of a table. So let me write the table over here and let me close this stuff. And this particular uh, items that I am, uh, you know, looping over, I want to make each item as a single column, right? So here I'm going to make use of dr and I'm going to end it over here. tr and there we go. And each item over here is going to be one of my row. So I write td here and I'll end it. I'm going to do the same thing for each of my element here. TD. Oops, just resize it for a bit. Okay. And slash TD once again. And let me do the same thing. TD. And let me close this off. All right. Now it looks good. Now let me go to my menu and just refresh it. Okay. So now we cannot see the thing, right? Everything uh, looks similar. All right, so now it's not properly visible, but we got a table here. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm just I'm just going to give a border to my table. So here I'm going to say it uh, border, and I'm going to give border equal to one, and let me rephrase it once again, and there you go. So uh, one biryani hundred to pizza 250 so we're getting everything uh, all our data over here but the problem is we're getting everything as a single line right so I i'm going to break this over here isn't it one biryani 100 is one row two pizza 250 is another row right so let's see where is the problem so how can i do that so where we are doing mistake here oh we are using this tr here so i'm gonna cut it and going to paste it inside my for each uh, loop here and I'm going to cut this and paste it again here and going to save it and going to refresh the space and boom so we are getting everything right now in a single table so now what I want here this one is our code this biryani is our food item and 100 is a price right so I want to give a table heading here so one, um, this uh, code should represents one, right? So I want to have a table heading called code items and the price. So how can I do that? So if I come here again and here I want to do what? I want to have a DR again. I want to create a new row. So I'm going to end it with DR and I need a th which stands for table heading and the first row that we need over here should call as code I'm gonna copy and paste it for some time just to set just to set some time and the second one I should say it as item and the third one I'm gonna say it as price all right there you go Let's go back to our view here and there we go. All right. So it looks good. Right now, let me just uh, give some uh, cell padding over here so that we're going, we're going to get a nice little view. So cell padding. I'm going to give it as 30%. So I'm not a HTML expert or a UI expert just exploring a bit well this looks good all right so now it looks good so the next thing that I'm going to do over here so let me minimize it okay so the next thing that I'm going to do over here is I'm going to move this thing move this table into the middle I mean I want to move this over here okay uh, into the middle section here and I want to give a heading over here saying menu all right so how can I do that? So for that, I'm going to go to my JSP page and here in the body, I'm going to use a H. Now let's use the H1 tag here and let's say it menu. 
and I'm going to align it to the middle. So I'm going to say middle here, middle or center. Let's say it's center. All right. Okay. So the next thing is I'm going to align this table also to the center. So there we go. I'm going to save it and yeah, this looks good. All right, so the next thing is I'm going to use some color with this particular table as I have shown you in the beginning. So just going to make use of the color right here and I'm going to use uh, PG color and let's make it red. Okay, it's going to look so ugly. Oops, that, that's so ugly. I can wear it. Let's change it to uh, border color instead of this. So now if I refresh it, well, that's kind of durable. All right. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So now my menu is ready, right? So now this application has a, uh, is, is kind of uh, going to work as a MVC application. So we have a controller, a controller is talking to the database and our, uh, our helper class here, uh, is going to talk to our model, uh, which is facing the data. All right, and we have a nice little view here, and here we are just, you know, uh, showing the thing in a designed way. Okay. All right. So the next thing is, uh, I want to, you know, if you see over here, I want to run this as a single project, so we can see our full MVC flow here. So if you see over here, uh, if I'll do run as and run on server, I'm gonna get an error. So I'll do a next and finish. Well, so this this is just saying 404 uh, error over here because if you go for your web.xml file and if I click the source here, then it's gonna first of all it's gonna look for all this uh, you know welcome file. All right. Uh, so let me create a welcome file here. Let me create a file and let me say it index.html. So let me copy this thing and I'll go to my web content and I'll do a right click new uh, JSP file. Let's create a JSP file. Okay. So index.jsp is also here, right? So let me copy this and I'm going to do a right click then new and a JSP file here and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to do next and happy with it finish all right so the this one I should uh, change the title to home and inside my buddy I'm going to use a h1 tag here saying home uh, welcome let's say welcome uh, to put cat right and let's do a work here let me align it to the center so align center oh sorry let me hit the control space again it's not working all right so here nice looks good all right so the next thing that I'm going to do over here I'm going to create a anchor tag actually I want to create a link and here uh, I'm going to give my edge rate and I'm going to Go to my servlet and I'm gonna copy this URL here. Do a control C and I'll go to my index.jsp page once again. I'll paste it here. I'll say dot slash put cat. And uh, here I'm gonna give some text. So let me create a label here. Um, so because I want to uh, actually bring it to the middle. So I'm gonna copy a line equal to center. I'll copy this. I'll paste it in one. I'm gonna paste it once again. So this is actually not the way to code, but actually I want but actually I want to satisfy my need over here because this is just a demo app. So just allow me to do this thing over here. Anyhow I'm not a UI expert. So here I'm just going to say uh, go to menu right so there we go so it looks fine to me right now let's go ahead and run our app so 
So right now I'm going to go to my project put cat. I'll do a right click and run as and run on server. So I'll do a next and finish. So now let's see what's happening here. This looks good. So uh, everything looks good, but the problem is the menu is not aligned to the center. Okay, because probably I have written oh I've written a label here and I haven't all right let's do one work let's change it to paragraph all right so let me use a p tag here and now let me rephrase it yeah this looks good so what I'm gonna do over here I'm just going to click here go to menu and there you go so so here we are in our menu page right so here we can see the full MBC workflow. So this is our home page. When I'm clicking on menu, it's going to the servlet, and our servlet is fetching all the data from the menu, sending it to the JSP page, and this is the final view that we want to show to our user. All right? So that's what we wanted to do in this application. All right, guys. So first of all, I'm really sorry for the bad audio. I just forgot to you know uh, turn on my earphone so that's what the problem all right so you now for now I'm just not going to add any more videos in this playlist I'll wait for your response if you like this kind of tutorial if you want to convert this website to a full working website then please put a request below and I'm going to add more tutorials on this playlist or you can uh, you know ping me your suggestion or you can mail me your suggestion uh, in my mail ID so you can write a mail to me at selenium express at the rate gmail.com right so uh, so that's it for this tutorial and thank you very much for watching guys and, and you have a nice day and bye bye